I am Laird McCabe, and Alaric is my brother. Keeley cast her eyes downward and bobbed an awkward curtsy. He wasn't her Laird, but still, a man of his position commanded respect, and it wasn't as if her Laird was a man deserving of any. To whom do I speak? he asked impatiently. Keeley, she stammered out. Keeley, just Keeley. It wasn't as if the McDonald's claimed her as kin any longer. Well, jest Keeley, it would appear I owe my brother's life to you. Her cheeks pinched tight as heat gathered and pooled there. She shifted uncomfortably, unused to such praise. Laird McKay began issuing orders to his men about how to transport Alaric back to their lands. Aye, she knew they'd want him home, but she felt pressing sadness that her warrior would no longer occupy her hearth. His stupid horse left, she blurted, not wanting the blame for not taking better care of his steed. I did what I could. Again, something that looked remarkably close to a smile flickered over Laird McCabe's features. That stupid horse alerted us that Alaric was in trouble, he said dryly. She listened idly as they made plans for immediate departure and almost missed the mention of her. Nay, there it was again, a distinct reference to her. She whirled around, gaping at Kalin, who obviously had to be another McCabe brother. He looked nearly identical to Alaric, though, to be honest, Alaric was more pleasing to look at. Kalin frowned so ferociously that she couldn't imagine a woman wanting to go anywhere near the man. I'm not going with you, she protested, sure she'd heard incorrectly. Kalin didn't respond to her statement, nor did he look impressed with her ire. He simply plucked her up, threw her over his shoulder, and began walking from the house. In her outrage, she was momentarily stunned, speechless and motionless. By the time he got to his horse, she understood his purpose, and she began to kick and fight. Instead of forcing her onto his horse, he promptly dropped her onto the ground and then loomed over her with a look of sheer annoyance. She reached underneath her skirts to rub her bruised behind and glared up at the warrior. That hurt? Kalin rolled his eyes. You have two choices. You can get yourself up off the ground and give in gracefully, or I can tie you up, preferably with a gag, and throw you over my saddle. I can't just leave. Why on earth would you want me to? I've done nothing against your brother. I saved his life. Where is your gratitude? I have people who rely on my healing skills here. We have more pressing need of a healer at McCabe Keep, Kalen calmly explained. You did a fine job at stitching my brother and keeping him alive. You'll continue to do so on McCabe Land. <laughs>